Hi everyone, a blessed day to all of you. Praying that all of you are safe and doing well in your study and of course doing great with your families and loved ones. And I hope that all of you are excited to learn another theory of nursing which can be a basis of your practice later. In this presentation, I will discuss about the conceptual system and middle range theory of goal attainment by Imogen King. All right. Okay. To begin with, let us have a brief history or background of the theorist. Let us talk about the background of Imogen King. She was born on January 30, 1923 at West Point, Iowa, United States. In 1948, she gained her BS in nursing or Bachelor of Science in Nursing and Education with minor in philosophy and chemistry. In 1957, she uh, received her Master's Science in Nursing from St. Louis University. In 1947 to 1958, she worked as an instructor in medical surgical nursing and she was assistant director at St. John's Hospital School of Nursing. In 1966 to 1988, um, Imogen King served as under Jesse Scott as Assistant Chief of Research Grand Branch, Division of Nursing at the U.S. Department of Health, Education, and Welfare. And in 1980, King was awarded an honorary Ph.D. from Southern Illinois University. On May 1988, she received an honorary doctorate from Loyola University. Imogen King died on December 24, 2007 in St. Petersburg's two days after suffering from stroke. So that was um, a short background of our theory. And of course, we are amazed with her achievement. Now let's proceed to the major concepts of Imogen King's theory. One of the major concepts in Imogen King's theory is health, you know, like other theorists. She defined or she viewed health as a dynamic life experiences of a human being, which implies continuous adjustment to stressors in the internal and external environment through optimum use of one's resources to achieve maximum potential for daily living. When we say dynamic, uh, it means it is a process that is characterized by constant change of activity or progress. Um, this means that health is part of our life processes that could also change in time because we know that change is constant in our life and same goes with our health. As we grow, as we age, or every day in our life, there are changes, there are stressors, and now it is up to the individual how to adjust to his or her internal and external environment uh, to those stressors through using her or his resources and these resources could be your physical your emotional and it could be a support from others for you to achieve um, maximum health so another concept here is nursing which she defined as a process of action reaction and interaction whereby the nurse and the client share information about their perceptions in the nursing situation. When we say action, it 
refers to a sequence of behaviors involving both mental and physical activity. While reaction was not uh, clearly defined by Imogen King, however, it is considered as a sequence of behavior that is described in action, while interactions are defined as the observable behaviors of two or more individual in mutual presence. Another concept in her theory is self, which refers to a composite of thoughts and feelings which constitute a person's awareness of his or her individual existence, his or her conception of who and what he or she is, or it is a person's self, uh, some total of all he or she can call his or her. The self includes, among other things, a system of ideas, attitudes, values, and commitments. A self is a person's total subjective environment. It is a distinctive center of experience and significance. King presented these interacting systems of theory of goal attainment. According to her, there are three interacting systems in the theory of goal attainment. These are the personal system or the individual, the interpersonal system or the groups, and the social system or the society. Each system is given different concepts. The personal system Concepts are perception, the self, growth, and development, body image, space, and time. The concepts for the interpersonal system include interaction, communication, transaction, role, and also stress. While the social system concepts are organization, authority, power, status, and decision making. So, for the personal system, according to Imogen King, each individual is a personal system. An example of personal system is as a patient or a nurse. King specified the concepts of, again, body image, growth, development, perceptions, self, space, and time. That is for us to comprehend human beings as a person. While the, the interpersonal or the groups, these are, the, these are formed by human beings interacting. So there are two interacting individuals that form a dyad, or three form a triad, and four or more form small groups or large groups. And as, as the number of interacting individuals increases, so does the complexity of the interaction happens. So, understanding the interpersonal system requires the concepts of communication, interaction, role, stress, and transaction. While the society or the social system, um, it is more comprehensive interacting system because it consists of groups that make up the society, um, referred to as as a social system. This can be your religious, educational, and healthcare systems, uh, which are example of your social system. Another example is an extended family's influential behavior on the individual growth and development is, again, another example. Within a social system, the concepts of authority, decision-making, organization, power, and status guide systems understanding. To understand the theory of Imogen King, um, according to her, mutual goal setting between a nurse and a client is based on a nurse's assessment of a client's concerns, problems, and disturbances in health. 
Nurses and the client's perceptions of the interference and their sharing of information whereby each functions to help the client attain the goals identified. In addition, nurses interact with family members when clients cannot verbally participate in the goal setting. Of course, this is to help the client recover. So, another figure that you can observe in the theory of Imogen King, you have here uh, the figure 15.2, which is which present the process of human interaction that leads to transaction. It is actually a model of transaction, according to King. The human process of interaction formed the basis for designing a model of transactions that depicted theoretical knowledge used by nurses to help individuals and groups attain goals. Ito yung ginagamit nila. The concepts includes interaction and etc. So interaction is defined by Imogen King as a process of perception and communication between the person and the environment. And of course, between a person and a person. Okay? Represented by verbal and non-verbal behaviors that are goal-directed. Another concept under this uh, process, we have transaction. So the transaction is a process of interaction in which the human beings communicate with the environment to achieve valued goals. Um, usually the transaction are goal-directed human behavior. Perception, on the other hand, is um, in each person represents of reality. Um, communication here is defined as a process whereby information is given from one person to another either directly in face-to-face -face meetings or indirectly through telephone, television, or the written word. And for today, you know, we all, aside from telephone, we have another social media. And role, the role is defined as a set of behaviors expected of a person occupying a position in social system. Rules that define rights and obligation in a position. A relationship with one or more individuals interacting in specific situations for a purpose. Okay. Now let us move on to the major assumptions of her theory. So King's personal philosophy about human beings and life influenced her assumption related to environment, health, nursing, individuals, and nurse-patient interaction. So her conceptual system and theory of goal attainment was based on an overall assumption that the focus of nursing is human beings interacting with their environment, leading to a state of health for individuals, which is an ability to function in social roles. That's according to King in 1981. So the main focus or the main goal is to help individuals their health so they can function in the roles um, nursing according to her is an interpersonal process of action reaction interaction and transaction it also it is also a perception of a nurse and a patient that influence the interpersonal process King uh, detailed specific assumptions related to persons in 1981 and in her subsequent works. According to her, individuals are spiritual beings. Individuals have the ability through their language and their other symbols to record their history and preserve their culture. It is an individuals that are unique, which means has uh, different characteristics and holistic with different dimensions like spiritual, emotional, physical, psychological, social, and etc. of intrinsic worth 
and capable of rational thinking and decision making in most situations. So which means that as a nurse, you have to consider a person's a personal view or decision to make decisions on her or his own. It is also an individual um, which has different needs, wants, and goals. So, for health, according to her, it is a dynamic state in life cycle, as mentioned in the previous slide, whereas illness interferes with that processes. So, people are distinct individuals. People should be self-reliant and responsible for their care as well as others in the family. So health implies continuous adjustment to stress in the internal and external environment through the optimum use of one's resources to achieve the maximum potential for daily living. This was again um, discussed in the previous slides. So for environment, according to uh, um, King, it is an understanding of the ways that human beings interact with their environment to maintain health was essential for nurses. And again, this environment could be your internal within and external outside yourself or your um, interaction with other people. So we have here a case study of how um, the theory of Imogen King was used or applied in the practice. So for the case study number one, we have a 57-year-old man, newly diagnosed with diabetes. The goal attainment is to decrease anxiety due to new diagnosis and to care for disease. Now, the nurse must first interact on a personal level to achieve a proper communication to gain, of course, trust, to determine patient goal and move forward. Then the second part is to involve patient on interpersonal level. So there will be interaction between the nurse and the patient, wife and other family to achieve understanding and goal attainment. That is an example. So, so we have here another case study from or presented in the book of Martha Rail Alicut, Nursing Theorist and Their Works, 10th edition. So let me read to you this application of the theory of Imogen King into the nursing practice. Okay. Upon receiving an assignment at the start of the shift, Colin Jennings RN makes initial rounds of the patients. One patient, Amit Kaisel, as reported by nurses on the previous shift, has been difficult to work with, demanding the attention of staff throughout the shift. Mr. Jennings visits Mr. Kaisel last during rounds so that additional time is available for an assessment. Upon entering Mr. Kaisel's room, Mr. Jennings asks him how he is feeling about going home. Mr. Kaiser complains about a variety of minor concerns about the spending discharge, accepting that Mr. Kaiser's perceptions are unique and valid to him. Mr. Jennings spends a few minutes just listening because Mr. Jennings knows that Mr. Kaiser is to be discharged today he asked the patient what he knows about his spending discharge and his goals for leaving today. Mr. Kaisel admits that he is concerned about leaving the hospital because he does not know what to expect during the first 24 hours at home. Mr. Jennings talked with the patient and asked him what goals he wants to achieve while in the hospital and upon returning home. Mr. Kaisel identifies two to three goals that he would like to achieve in the hospital and says that he would like to have someone stay with him at his home for the first night because he is not sure that his wife will be able to take care of him like the nurses do in the hospital. Of the goals identified, Mr. Jennings and Mr. Kaisel identified the most important ones in the 
other in which Mr. Kaisel would like to achieve them. Then Mr. Jennings and Mr. Kaisel identify activities that can be done by the patient and the staff to achieve these goals. Before leaving the room, they agree on the goals, their priority, and the specific activities to be done, and they arrange for Mr. Kaisel's wife to be involved in the discharge planning. Having established times when Mr. Jennings and Mr. Kaisel will briefly talk to evaluate achievement of the goals. Mr. Jennings leaves the room and Mr. Kaisel calls his wife to begin work on the activities he needs to accomplish. So that shows how it was applied you know, to go attainment theory in nursing practice. So I hope you can also do the same to your patient in the future. Thank you, everyone. This is the end of this presentation. God bless you. And of course, for the references,